Manga Wido. I'll say, why don't we take this together? A bridal check? You know when we get married, we'll want to have a baby, right? I'm Kosei Yoshino, and I work for a security company. I met my girlfriend Akina in the company, and we've been together for four years now. Oh, right. Besides, we have to think about our marriage. Oh, I'm not brushing you. I just happened to get the flyer, so... It's not like I'm thinking about getting married. Besides, Akina's birthday is coming up next month. Okay... I had bought a ring and was preparing to propose on that day, but... I have something important to tell you. As I put my hand in the pocket where I kept the ring... Um, but first, I want you to take a look at this. Hmm? The bridal check results. Oh! What? No way! Male infertility means I'm the one? Yeah, the chance of having a baby is almost zero. So sorry, I can't marry you, Kosei. Oh, um... I'm fertile. I don't want to adopt or anything, so I'm really sorry. You understand, don't you? <laughs> I see, right. Yeah, I want you to break up with me. Okay. Thank you for everything. I'm sorry. I was happy to be in a relationship with you, Kosei. Thus, our relationship came to an abrupt end. I can't believe it. I was brooding on a park bench when I suddenly noticed a girl sitting at the edge of the sandbox. That girl, is she okay? I'm not usually the type to get involved in trouble, but it's times like this that I feel the need to be kind. Alone at this time of night? Uh. You need to get home or your parents are going to be worried. I'm fine. But I can't leave you alone like that. We're poor. My parents told me to go play outside because they don't want to waste money on electricity if I stayed at home, so... Apparently, she spends almost every day at the park. She's in a much tougher spot than I am. Thinking about that, I naturally offered her the ring. You sell this for money. N no I can't accept that. It's okay. Actually, the girl I was going to marry dumped me just a while ago. I was going to throw it away, so I'll give it to you. But... It was pretty expensive, so even if it won't sell for much, it'll still help with the utility bills. I'd be happy if you used it. Bye! Um... I gave the ring to the girl and left the park. From the next day on, I devoted myself to my work in order to forget about Akina. However, we work in the same company, so... Did you and Ichikawa break up? Suzuki, how do you know that? There's rumors that you're the reason you two broke up. What? Oh, but it's not like I cheated or anything. I know. Akina is telling people that we broke up because of me. It's true, but it doesn't feel good. While I was thinking like that, Akina was transferred shortly afterwards, and we stopped seeing each other. That's a relief. Now I can forget about Akina once and for all. However, only six months later... Did you hear? Akina got married. What? Seriously? She's my colleague, Harumi Sakoda. You know, I saw something. Maybe Akina was always two-timing you. When I was still dating Akina, Harumi once saw Akina walking arm-in-arm arm with a guy in town. I didn't tell you because it was from a distance and I didn't have any proof. But now that I think about it, the man at the time looks a lot like the man Akina married. And this? I think this is Akina's other account. 
On her account, there was a picture of Akina on a date with a guy I didn't know. I also looked at his account and found a picture of him with Akina. Was she two-timing me the whole time? And after she found out I was seedless, she chose this guy to marry? Kina was a jerk, pushed work onto her juniors, and made fun of unmarried seniors. Are you serious? I can't believe she was like that. Well, they say love is blind. You should forget about Akina. You were lucky to break up with her in a way. You're right. Thanks for telling me, Harumi. After that, Suzuki and Harumi invited me out for drinks and took me out on days off here and there, and I gradually regained some of my energy. I heard that Akina resigned and started working for a company owned by the man she married, but to be honest, I didn't really care. Ten years later, I was immersed in my work and became a section chief. Yoshino, this competition is the biggest deal of the year. I'm counting on you. Yes, I'll do everything I can to win. A security competition was held for a new high-rise condominium, and I was chosen as the project leader. If I can win the contract this time, there's a very high possibility that I will be asked to lead the next competition. I teamed up with Suzuki and the others and went to the competition briefing. And lo and behold... Hey, how have you been? Ichikawa! What? Akina? That Akina was in front of me. Apparently Akina got a new job in the same industry as ours. Uh, it's been a while. I heard that Akina got married and had a child. Kosei, I'm sorry about the time. Nope, let's not talk about that anymore. Anyway, I'm glad you're happy. Thanks. I knew Kosei would say so. Well then, let's do our best in the competition, fair and square. Yeah. She sounds so high and mighty. <laughs> she doesn't know I know she two-timed me. But still, how can she act so casually towards me? But this is no time to worry about such things. Then, I repeated trial and error to win the competition with Suzuki and the others. And after our well-prepared competition, the candidates were finally narrowed down to two companies. My company and Akina's company. Hmm, it's hard to say which one is better. I'm sorry, but would you mind if we talk individually afterwards? Oh, of course. Yes, of course. Akina's company met with the president first. Then it was our company's turn. I see. It's true that installing security sensors on balconies and windows might be a necessary measure in this day and age. Yes, I think residents would feel more secure if security measures were taken, not only in the common areas, but also in individual areas. I appreciate the price for the contents. Security is not a temporary thing. We will do our best to keep the price low enough so that it will not be a burden for you. Very well. I'll discuss the rest with the board. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you! After saying our greetings, I tried to leave the conference room when... Uh, excuse me. Yes? She's President Miyamoto's secretary. I think her name was Aiko Nakai-san. I'm sorry, this is unrelated to the competition, but... Yoshino-san, do you recognize this? Huh? Oh, that! Is that the ring I gave away at the park? I'll never forget, it's the ring I couldn't give to Akina. I knew it was Yoshino-san from that night. Are you...? Yes! I'm the junior high school student who you helped in the sandbox. Oh my gosh, we finally met! You've grown up! I was so happy to see her by chance. 
Aiko-san told me afterwards that she was almost neglected by her parents at the time, and she felt miserable every day. She took the ring I gave her to a pawn shop to get money for it, but since she was underage, they got suspicious and called the police. She says that this led to her being taken into protective custody and sent to live at the home of her relative, President Miyamoto. Thank you so much for that time. This ring saved my life. I wanted to thank you if I could meet you someday. This is how I kept it with me, always close to my skin. I see. After that, she said she wanted to talk more, so I went to a Japanese restaurant with her and President Miyamoto. Yoshino-san hasn't changed at all, so I recognized you right away. Aiko-san has grown taller and more beautiful. Isn't that right? Aiko is my niece. Uncle, you're embarrassing me. Ah, <laughs> anyway, thanks to this ring, Aiko came to live with me. I'm very grateful. I'm humbled. The conversation was lively, and I don't know if this was the deciding factor, but the result of the competition was... In the end, I chose you because of your potential and your personality. Thank you very much. The order has been awarded to us. After that, he asked us to do all the security work for the new tower building he was going to build. And our relationship with President Miyamoto grew even deeper. Then, about a year later, a decisive event occurred at an exhibition hall. Oh, it's Kosei. Akina, it's been a while. I ran into Akina again. Standing next to her is the man who is the president of Akina's company and also Akina's husband. Well, well, thank you for your help on that occasion. No, it's my pleasure. I met this guy briefly on the last day of the competition. I have to admit I don't really like his condescending attitude. I was hoping that if we met again you could tell us what kind of a trick you used to win the president's heart. There was no trick. I was just making a fair and honest proposal. But I heard that you went to dinner with President Miyamoto after the competition. Did you bribe him? What? Absolutely not! While we were having this argument, Aiko-san approached. Is something wrong? When I told her that I was being accused of something, Aiko-san... The competition was chosen fairly. We told you that it was difficult to choose between the two at the final stage. The president judged the competition rigorously and made the decision. I was there watching, so I have no doubt about it. But no matter how I think about it, it doesn't make sense. Even if it wasn't money, didn't he give him something? The secretary just doesn't know, but he must have given it to President Miyamoto in secret. That's not true! It was Harumi who entered swiftly. Akina, don't make false accusations. He won't use cowardly tactics like you. Cowardly? Me? What do you mean? Jose, it's a good opportunity. Why don't you tell her clearly about that? Right. It's a good opportunity indeed. You're the coward, aren't you, Akina? You two-timed me with a guy and then dumped me. What? Two-timed? What do you mean? I used to date her at the same time as you. I have proof. Look, here's a picture of us when we were dating. I'm glad I saved them just in case. Akina's husband was furious when I showed him a picture I took in front of a dated sign at a tourist attraction. What is this? No, no, this is, um... You better be careful. This woman does this kind of thing with a nonchalant face. Hey, san why don't you tell her about what happened? Right. Akina, you said you wanted to break up with me because I'm infertile, right? That bridal checkup result you showed me back then? It was a fake, wasn't it? I recently started dating Aiko-san, so after what happened with you, I went back for another bridal checkup. 
I thought maybe the results would be different and it turns out there's nothing wrong with me. I was so surprised that I showed the results to the doctor who said, I don't think a doctor would hand out such a sketchy test result. I think these test results are not genuine. So I inquired at the clinic and they told me in no uncertain terms, we don't issue such shady result forms. What? That's... You faked that to break up with me peacefully, didn't you? No, um... The director of the clinic said he's suing Akina for forging private documents, right? What? Oh yeah, you might want to prepare yourself. Forgery? Sue? What the hell is this about, Akina? I don't know. What kind of excuse is that? That was a long time ago. It's over now. Of course not. You better brace yourself. What do you mean, brace myself? I don't know what you mean. Why don't you worry about yourself instead of your wife? Huh? I won't tolerate falsehoods that the president of our company took a bribe. Say it again. Our excellent legal counsel will deal with you, so please be prepared. Yes, that was just a slip of the tongue. You think that excuse will work? Uh, you yes, and your sir. wife are irredeemable. That's for sure. You and your wife can talk it out. I wish you all the best. I don't think we'll see each other again. Wait a second. What are you going to do? I don't know. Hey, wait! Akina! Somebody help! We return to the exhibition, leaving Akina and her husband behind. Later on, apparently Akina's husband did some investigating and found out that Akina was still involved with multiple men. Furthermore, it was discovered that his daughter with Akina was not biologically related to him. As a result, Akina was demanded a large sum of compensation and ended up getting a divorce. The gossip-loving office workers informed me about this. Furthermore, the claim that the clinic threatened to sue for falsifying documents was just a bluff, but it seems Akina took it seriously, and she went to the clinic and said something like, If you sue me, I'll sue you back, which led to another dispute involving the police. There's no saving her. As for me, my business has been going well since then. My personal life is also going well. I got married to Aiko, and we are expecting a baby soon. Which is prettier, pink or yellow? Hmm, they're both cute. Come on, pick properly. <laughs> sorry, sorry. If I'd stayed married to Akina, I'd never have had a chance to be happy like this. I really appreciate her dumping me. I'm gonna continue to live faithfully, both at home and at work. <laughs>